As you remember yesterday, we did the activity rocks versus minerals with the Jolly Rancher. Today, you are going to be looking at different kinds of candy and you are supposed to make an inference what kind of candy it is after you have looked at the composition of it and have decided if it's a rock or a mineral. So reviewing, a rock is a solid inorganic, which means non-living substance composed of a mixture of different minerals. Mineral means that it is a naturally occurring solid that has the same chemical composition throughout. So take a look at this piece of chocolate. Here's our first piece of chocolate. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is observe and write down the characteristics. I see that it is brown. I see that it is solid. And when I look inside, I see that it is the same throughout, that there's nothing in the middle or no other ingredients. So because it is a uniform composition, that means it's the same all the way through, I'm gonna say yes. And if it's the, a uniform composition, when we go back up here, that means it has to be a mineral. So I'm gonna circle an M. Um, so now I just need to see if I can figure out what kind of candy it is. Can when, you zoom in? When I look at the shape of it, I like Dove chocolates, and I'm pretty sure this is a Dove chocolate, and I think it's a Dove dark chocolate, so that's what I'm going to write. Because that's her favorite. It is my favorite. Okay, let's take a look at another candy. All right, so if you look at this one, it looks similar in shape to the other one, but this one has brown with a white swirl through it. So the outside is brown with white, which tells me that there is more than one thing in it, so it is not consistent in uniform consistency. And because of that, that tells me that it has to be a rock. Uh, because of the shape, I would say that it's some kind of dove chocolate. I know that white in chocolate means that it's white chocolate. So I'm just going to guess a dove chocolate of some kind. All right, so now we're looking at another um, piece of candy. And I see that um, it's a uniform in color. Um, it's red all the way through, even on the inside, right? And I notice that the, the shape is sort of long and skinny and it's got some ridges on it. So it's a little bit bumpy. So I'm gonna infer that this is um, a Twizzler <clears throat> because of the shape and the color. Um, and then I'm going to say that it's uniform in its composition because we got the red all the way through. And so then I'm gonna say that this is probably a mineral because of that uniform composition. Can we just do this one? Like this one? Let's go this one. Okay. okay. I have another piece that looks a lot like the first one I did. I see that it is brown again. The first one. Let's check the inside. Oh, on this one, when I look at the inside, it is not the same all the way through. So we have a brown outside layer with a tan colored inside. That means it does not have a uniform composition because it's not the same all the way through. If it's not uniform, we know it's a mixture, so it has to be a rock. I still think it's a dove, but the because of what's inside, I'm going to say it's a chocolate with, a, with caramel inside. Okay, we have one more piece of candy we're gonna look at. This one, zoom in on that. All right, so when you look at this one, uh, you can see that it's green and it looks like it has white sparkles on the outside. 
It feels kind of gritty to the touch. As far as composition goes, we're going to cut it and see. Now it's got chocolate from the knife, but pretend like the brown's not there. You can see the inside is solid green, but you can see that white crystally looking on the outside. So because it has that sparkles, those white sparkly crystals, I would say it does not have a uniform composition which tells me that it is a rock of some kind. And from past experience, I'm going to say that this is some kind of a gumdrop. If I smell it, <laughs> it smells minty, like a spearmint gumdrop. 